What's up YouTube, Will from Bag Riders here. Now, a well-installed air ride kit will have no leaks whatsoever, but a DIY setup does have some margin for error. You could have a management leak or a suspension leak. Here's how to know what we're dealing with. With a management leak, you're getting out to your car in the morning to get in, you check the pressure on your controller that's reading tank pressure, and you're gonna think that's a little bit lower than it was. If you're suspicious that that's the case, what you really wanna do is actually make a note or take a photo of what that pressure is when you go to park at night and then verify how it looks when you get back in the morning. A suspension leak is very obvious. You need to get back out to your car in the morning and find that just one corner has sagged down. And if you're suspicious you have one, which again, would be pretty obvious, what you're gonna to wanna to do is actually park at either ride height or fully aired up and then in the morning look to see if anything has changed should stand out like a sore thumb if one corner is dropped down. If you don't know which of these you have, think about it like this. You get out in the morning and either one corner is sagged way down or you hear that compressor come on and you know that you've lost some pressure in your tank. Now, if you park your car on a warm evening, come back in the morning to a cool outdoor parked vehicle and you've lost say five PSI of tank pressure, that's normal, that's gonna happen anyways. So don't worry about that. We're talking about more of a significant pressure loss. Let's test for a management leak first. I've mixed up some soapy water in a clean spray bottle. Since I'm right now just looking for a management related issue, I only need to check in one place. I'm gonna be in the trunk of my vehicle and I'm gonna check each and every fitting that goes into the tank, regardless of what it does. Boom, found the leak. See these bubbles that just keep on growing? That's a sign that a small amount of air is leaking into that soap and creating those bubbles. Another thing to note is if you have a tank drain kit, which you definitely should, and you have a Schrader valve at the end of that, sometimes debris can get caught in that Schrader valve while you're draining, and that can create a slow leak there. So again, you're testing each and every fitting. What about a suspension leak? Why well, am I going out to my car in the morning to pull it out of the garage and finding it all lopsided? Again, with the same soapy water and the same principle of eliminating what it's not, we're gonna go ahead and find that leak. The first place I wanna look is in the trunk. I know it's not the management leak, but part of the suspension side of the system is in the trunk, starting at the manifold. You've got your four ports going out to your suspension. We're gonna test those first. Now it's not that. We're gonna actually look at the exact corner of the car that is leaking and test there directly because the only places this air could be coming out of are the fittings that relate to that corner that are going into that bag or the airline that runs along the path between the management and that bag, which could get pinched by a moving component or could get burned by a hot exhaust component, all of which it would be the fault of a poorly planned out routing for that airline during your install. In the case of the LS430, we know for sure that we have that leak at the driver's front corner, which on a manifold, like the airlift manifold, is marked as number one for those four corner ports coming out of that manifold. So that helps us eliminate a lot of variables. We know to dive right in on that port at the manifold, and we know to check that corner of the car if the port at the manifold is not the culprit. Most leaks are caused by installation errors. We have no leader line for this installation, so let's check here at the PTC fitting. If it's not there, we know this airline has to run from the front of the car all the way to the back. And what could be wrong with that? Well, the airline, due to poor routing, could potentially come into contact with something hot like the exhaust or a moving component that would pinch it. Boom, we got it. The nylon airline is leaking right at the PTC fitting, which is probably caused by the grasp ring. This has probably been unhooked and reconnected several times, and that can cause a marring ring on the line, and over time, that can be a point of leak. Your best bet is to take your line cutter that's included in any of these bag riders kits, cut right past that marring mark so it's gone. Now you can reconnect it, reinflate that bag, spray it with your soapy water again just to verify everything's good, and then you're set. I hope you found this video helpful. If you or one of your buddies has a strange leak that we did not cover here, please drop a comment below and describe it to us so we can make fun of you. I mean, help you. If you have an issue that needs to be resolved ASAP, I would say drop us a comment through the chat feature on bagriders.com or give bagriders a call. We're here to help. Peace.